And for me, like I've never been a pet lover, and I, you know, and I, I know that hurts some people to hear. But I, I, I grew up in an environment where you didn't have, I didn't, nobody had a fucking pet when I was young. Okay, you know, I saw a uh, a blind kid one time get chased by two bats. That's really the first experience I ever had with animals, and that shit is. Uh, I, and then I, I, got, I got attacked by dogs on one of my birthdays. I got attacked by cats on one of my birthdays. A cat came off this roof one time of a um, camper and fucking got me right around my clavicle. Um, when we were about to go to the river one time, couldn't even go. You know, had to get rabies, tetanus shots, all of that. So I haven't had good experience. And nobody in my neighborhood had a, nobody had a pet. Nobody had a fucking P-E-T. A pet is something you touch that is an animal. Okay, people had animals, you know, they had that dog that live over there by Wellington's house, by Danny Wellington's. Have you seen that dog? People are like, is that Danny's dog? Fuck no, that ain't Danny's dog. Okay, that dog's from somewhere else. That dog could be from Nebraska. It's mixed. The dog is mixed. You know, it looks kind of half, you know, maybe half Scottish, half African American. And that thing's out there fucking people up. By Danny Wellington's. That ain't, that's nobody's dog. I remember the first time I ever saw a pet indoors. And that was a pet. That's a dog you can touch. That doesn't, it's not going to, um, you know, uh, that's not going to, that's not going to try and attack you or wrangle you or get some blood out of your body with its teeth. Yeah, we didn't have all that. So when I see these people come, you know, and I see, you know, and I'm in the safe confines of this of this ranch, man, it just made me, for the first time in my life, I kind of felt what it was like to be an animal lover. Really. And, and, you know, and that shows me that a lot of times it's just about, it's just about uh, that safety, feeling that safety around animals and feeling, I guess, you know, I grew up in such fear of them that I wasn't able to love. It's hard to love from a place of fear. It's really, really hard. And that's one thing I've even found, I'm not trying to get emo here, but one thing I found about myself as a person, that when I was a child, I, was, I must have been so fearful as a child that it was hard for me to learn about love because I couldn't, you, you, it's really hard to love from a place of fear because love is just, it's a lot of trust. Love is just as much trust as you can put together. I mean, it's just a really fancy, fancy buffet of trust. You know, you got a little bit of trust pudding and you got some, you know, uh, you know, you got some trust ruffles and you got some trust truffles and you got trust flakes and trust cracklings over here. And then you got the bull trust and a baked trust and a murmuring trust. And that's that trust buffet. That's love. But man, when you don't have that growing up and you feel fearful, then it's hard to love things. It's hard to love people. It's hard to love yourself, really. But that's what happened to me with them animals. You know, every time I went outdoors, it was fucking, you know, gang, gang, son. Who wants a piece of daddy? You know, fi- you know, f- f- trying to punch at these crows that were trying to attack us. Or, you know, people, you know, dogs coming at us. You know, not to mention the lice belt. Don't even tell me I didn't grow up in the lice belt. You know, next thing you know, you're walking with a friend. Next thing you know, he hits the dirt. And he's scratching his head and you don't know what happened. You think invisible lightning got him. No, it didn't. No. It didn't. That's lice. And that's the devil's invisible crawling lightning. And that's head lice. And so it just, you know, it, it, was, hard to, it was hard to love animals when you couldn't trust them. Because I'm going to be honest. If people want to say all animals, all animals aren't trustworthy and all that. Let's don't get into that shit. Okay? Some of these animals are out there just trying to catch it, just get that next hit to buy that next gram. Okay? To cop that next piece of ass. Not every animal is nice. You know, if you remember Roger Rabbit, and they have those three or four weasels, those sneaky weasels trying to trying to bang that chick with the red hair. Yeah. Remember Scrooge McDuck? The Beagle Boys? They're dogs, dude. Yeah. And they were bank robbers. And I know you're like, oh, those are drawings. I know they're drawings, but they're based on real life, you idiot. And that's what I'm saying. Not all animals are great. But when you don't trust them, you don't have that trust. Good evening, good afternoon, and other times. Thanks for watching that video you just saw. I mean, it was okay. But the next video you could watch could be way better. 
What if you watch a video right now that changes your life? Well, you could. Watch this one. Or watch this one. Watch this one. Watch this one. Watch this one. Ah!